Yes, guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm basically going to talk about my journey and how this could benefit you as you're a beginner, if you're a more advanced person in basically anything you would like to accomplish um, in your life right now. It could be related to business, could be related to fitness. You can literally apply this to everything. Um, and I'm just going to bring this up because I got um, some questions, of course, over the DMs and the comments on the other YouTube videos about sharing more about my journey, so I would like to elaborate a bit more on it. And why I'm just creating it right now, because I went uh, for some runs this week, of course, for my marathon preparation. And always during my runs, I get an ins, like I just got instant insights that could really uh, help a lot of people. Um, that's at least what I believe and what I hope. So I'm just gonna share that. Um, I just, every single time I get back from my runs, I just write it out directly. So that's what I'm going to elaborate on uh, in this um, video. So it's going to be super completely raw, of course. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, sharing more about my journey, uh, especially in this video, also about my business journey and uh, the raw reality of it. Because um, I think it has there has been a misperception of basically um, success in business and how people perceive that nowadays. Of course, because, you know, there are so many things right now going on on social media um, with people who might see success. They are, you know, um, basically in private jets. They are on private yachts, uh, whatever it might be with uh, women or, uh, you know, whatever you see on the people you're following. And that is not my basically um, my perception of success. And most people right now think that people who don't do that uh, are not seeing the successes in life, but what I've seen as well. And what I would like to just tell to the people, um, you know, watching this video specifically, is that the people who actually showcase like everything that they do, um, most likely are the people who are most unhappy with what they are in life because they need to showcase their life to the outside world, right? And all the fancy stuff that they are doing what they think is happiness or um, how they perceive it. From the people who are most happy, as, I'm gonna talk, as I can basically talk about um, the faces in my life where I was most happy, was at the most basic places. Right now, for example, I'm here right now at my grandmother's place in an apartment that is super old. And I can tell you, I've, I came here my entire life already with my entire family, with my mother, my brother, uh, with my father, of course, um, just here with my grandparents, right now with my grandmother. And she is 85 years old. She lives here. She is super happy with the most basic stuff. And when I am here, I always realize that you don't need much outside of, for example, for me, the sun and good food with good, basically, people to be happy, at least for me. And the most people who are just showcasing all of that stuff online, of course, they can be happy in all of that stuff. But it doesn't mean that the people who is on the yacht, who is showcasing that, is also the person who has most success. Because from what I have seen over the past five years of being um, in the business space myself, is that the people who actually were succeeding the most are the people who are not known on the social platforms like YouTube, like uh, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you are, because they don't even want to spend time on it to even show everything that they do as they want to stay private, right? To actually enjoy the success that they have with the person that they love and appreciate most. And that's basically what I've came to realize as well, because I was as well in the beginning, like I had the shiny object syndrome. I thought everything could make me success, uh, could become successful. And I thought that everything that I would you know, touch or would start could make me successful because others have done it as well. And of course it definitely can, but it doesn't mean that you will always have that outcome of success within the time that you think, or you would like to become successful. And I think that is super important to understand. And that brings me back to my journey because how I started in business was actually, I was working in a cookie factory, right? It was actually because of the thing that I didn't want. 
I started in business because I was in a cookie factory job, basically surrounding myself with people who were actually emotionless. Like they were looking outside of their eyes that they had no life, that they were really stuck in that thing that they were doing, what most people call the rat race. I don't like that word at all. But, um, you know, that, that's something that I've realized there, that people were actually just, they were just like wasting their lives in something that they would, they felt very comfortable, but they didn't want to be in because they didn't make the decision to change it because they were that comfortable, right? And that is the same when you're under a shower, like it's very hot and you can just turn it more and more to become even more hot because you become comfortable to that, you know, that, that basically warm feeling that you don't even recognize it by time anymore, but eventually it can ruin your entire skin in this case, your entire life, if you see it that way. So the journey of something that you would like to go through right now, or you're maybe thinking of, should be, of course, for like in the beginning, also be a conscious one. Because what is the thing that you actually want? Most people, they don't make that clear for themselves because they just enroll into something based on what they see on socials, based on what they think their teacher is showing and they will have the exact same life, but most likely it's not going to happen in most of the cases. So it's super important to understand that what you're chasing is based on actually that what you want, or is it based on what you have seen and you would like to accomplish as well? So that is super important to understand before you actually start. And for me in the beginning, my first eight months when I was in business, as most of you know, was one of the most hard times in my entire life. I was working in a cookie factory. I was a full-time student. I was thinking about, hey, I'm going to make it in the online business space. And all of the eight, eight months, every single penny that I was earning in that cookie factory was like completely wasted. I was burning money because I didn't know what to do. I was super like focused on seeing the results without understanding what actually will bring that result, right? Um, as I thought, hey, you know, people are doing this. I just need to turn on one ad and I will be rich overnight. But that was not going to happen. And by time, by the years, I understand that everything that you do requires a few things, which is a journey, of course, that you need to go through in order to be willing to fail, to stand up, in order to get better, right? And most importantly, also sacrificing. And that's basically where I will elaborate on. Because sacrificing, if you're not willing to sacrifice one thing in order to get an other outcome, you can basically say buy to the success or let's say the thing that you are um, looking for um, with the thing that you're starting. Because without any sacrifice, you're basically telling yourself, hey, I would like to not give up anything in order to get something. That is the same as you have an entire closet full with clothes, but you're not willing to sacrifice your old clothes to be able to put in new ones, right? That's just not going to fit by time. So if you're not willing to basically say bye to the old you, the old version, you will never be able to, you know, grow yourself in a way to become the better new version of you because you just don't have the capacity to do that. You need to first reset something or maybe to get rid of something. In my case, it was all of my friends and you don't have to do it that drastically or that let's say, hey, I'm going to get rid of everyone now. But you need to get rid of people maybe who are not uplifting you, who are not helping you in order to get better, right? But if you're not willing to sacrifice those people who are maybe having that negative impact on you that can actually drag you down, that can be an anchor that will slow you down, then you will not be able to reach that success that you see for yourself by with the right pace in order to maybe catch it and then grow from it from that point again, right? So for me, it was very like not thought not thought of at all because it was of course during corona as well i had a lot of friends that i was basically with almost every day i was always the one that was not drinking so for me it was super easy to say no to that part and to eventually then you know with corona and everything to say no to way more things in order to focus on myself i got literally rid of all my friends i broke up with my girlfriend and all of that was something that I thought was necessary in order to grow myself. 
which of course helped me a lot, but you don't need to do it that way, okay? That's basically a misperception. But you do need to sacrifice something. And if you do it, I can guarantee you, if you're not giving your 100% to commit to maybe say no to a specific behavior that you have can also be, or let's say an addiction that you have that you need to say no to, that you commit to say bye, let's say, you know, go away with that addiction, then it will sneak back in. The New Year's resolutions that people call it will 99% of the time not last longer than two to three weeks for the people who are not committing 100% to the thing that they want to achieve. Most people, of course, have fitness goals or, you know, becoming fit. Um, and the end of January, you see them binge watching with the socks, with basically, you know, a few, basically, you know, packs of like uh, lace or whatever it might be to become even more fat with all my respect. But for those people, it is just not the commitment to give their 100%. And it might be just 99%. But a 99% will just still allow their old behaviors to sneak back in with that 1%, right? And that is going to, by time, within two to three weeks, take over their entire resolutions that they had in order to get better completely. And most likely even worse. So you need to numb it. And in order to numb it, you need to ex like actually sacrifice a lot of things on the way. Maybe even things you actually don't want. But success requires sacrifice. And most people are not willing to do that. So like I said, you need to understand where you're getting into in order to sacrifice things in the beginning and also buy time to get better and better if you want to grow. Because otherwise those anchors will be too heavy in order to make you basically improve yourself and therewith your results. So I was talking about it with my mother as well and also the accessibilities that we have right now in this like 2024 situation we are in right now with so many online opportunities there are. And she told me, hey, you know, um, it's absolutely amazing uh, what people are doing nowadays. I didn't have the uh, resources, unfortunately, at that point. And it does make sense. She didn't have that, right? And I told her, you can still. But most people, um, I don't say my mother is it, but are still too comfortable with their current situation and they're not willing to say no and to basically make the sacrifices which are needed in order to, um, to, to basically have, uh, basically to be able, right, to use the resources in their advantage to grow. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's just super important that you understand what you're chasing or what you're uh, willing to get into. It's something you, of course, want to commit 100% to, but also that you understand that that journey that you go through might be maybe the first few months like completely unsuccessful and you might feel very off track and that's completely normal. At the very exact right time, I've seen it so many times that things happen at the perfect moment. Not the moment you want, but at the perfect moment, if you commit to it and if you do the work, it will pay off. Maybe not at the time you want, but at the perfect time that is needed. And that that will basically need you and you know allow you to, of course, grow um, yourself by improving your mindset, your skill set by working on yourself every single day and not for 99%, but 100%. And that will allow you to then, you know, grow. And that's why I what I realized after eight months, I was putting in every single time like the work, but I was committing to it not 100% because I, of course, you know, had a lot of things on the side that was distracting me from making that progress, from making the growth that allow didn't allow me to grow. And I realized that and I took full responsibility for it. So I invested into my first coach from that point. And after those eight months, the first month that I worked with the coach and he told me, hey, you need to get rid of that bullshit of this, of that, in order to be able to expand yourself and there with the results. And I gained knowledge from him because he had already done what I wanted to do at that point. And that was just an investment, not into something that basically will allow me to help me with 
seeing quicker results, but also with by preventing the things that I didn't need to do in order to see those results. And after one month, I hit my first 40K in a single month when I was like 19 years old. That is a shit ton of money because I was in debt like, you know, a year ago. I had 182 euros on my bank account. And a few years later, 2021, I was again in debt because I made a big mistake, but a mistake that I learned from because right now I gained so much knowledge that I don't want to trade anything to basically not um, have felt that back in 2021 when I invested a lot of money into a self-made product that I didn't even know was going to work together with my brother when I was 40,000 euros in debt at the age of 20. And that can all happen like within one, two year time frame. But I understood that. And I was 100% sure also with him, my brother besides me, to be able to grow again. I was 1000% sure that we will get out of it. Both 40,000 euros in debt. Well, we had six figures on my uh, on our bank account. And that is just the raw reality of it. And that's not always with, you know, the yachts, the nice fancy stuff. Also those people they have, I can tell you right now, those people have most likely the biggest issues, the most things that they're, um, let's say, unaware of, let's say, or maybe even they are aware of, but they are super um, maybe not happy with in order to just show the world that they are super good. But most likely those people and 100% sure also have their own issues like everybody has. So you need to understand that everything that you see on the socials is not always the real life that there those people are having or living or whatever. And um, that's just, you know, also part of the journey that you need to understand and should understand that it it is not going to be always um, like made easy for you to also, you know, put yourself in a situation to grow because you will always have those, let's say, shiny object syndromes on your path. But if you keep focus and you, like I said, if you're not let's say commit 99%, but 100%, you can say no to the things that will come on your path in order to become the very best at the basics of the thing that you should focus on and that you know you're going to focus on. And Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan say it as well, like, you know, kids in school right now, they are focused on so many things and so many like fancy stuff, but they don't master the basics. Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan became the very best because they understood that they had to become the best at the basics, building the foundation to then, you know, build the building. The building, or let's say their legacy, what they've built, would never last if they didn't work on the basics, the foundation to build on. Because you can build a building, but if the building doesn't have the foundation, it won't last long. And they understood that. And that is basically what has been right now completely shifted in um, basically the. The, the school, the colleges we go to, because we need to focus on 20,000 things where we are not even, you know, willing to invest time in. And what do you think? You're not going to commit 100% to something. You won't get the results or at least not 100% of the results. So if we need to focus on a thousand things without even mastering one thing, then it will be very hard to become the very best and actually unique at something. And, and and that's basically by first, you know, understanding that you should focus on the basics so you can become the very best at the basics first. Maybe you can then expand in order to see different paths in order to success, whatever you determine for success. But you need to understand that the entire journey is first a journey of understanding the basics, becoming good at it before you have other thousand things on your plate, which I had as well. That's why I'm sharing this because I had the shiny object syndrome in the beginning. I did crypto trading. I did um, like the Dutch Amazon FBA. I did a lot of things besides drop shipping and e-commerce, right? And that distracted me from actually seeing the results and doing the things in order to see those results in a quicker time possible. Because if I'm not 100% focused on something, again, I won't also see 100% of the results. And that is obvious. But most people, or they don't want to know it, or they just ignore it, right? And and that's basically when, you know, basically your thing that you see 
or the, th the people you surround yourself with can help you or it can completely do the opposite thing by distracting you from the thing that you know that you, sh you should be doing, but you don't do because you have another thousand things on your plate because you focused on a thousand other things. So that is also part of the journey. You need to understand like, right, if this is the road, it will always be bumpy, but there will also be holes. And those holes is basically your room from failure to becoming better at something in order to then proceed with more knowledge and with more experience in your backpack to then reach that next level. But if you're not willing to fail in the beginning, and like I said, if you're not willing to sacrifice, then you will never be able to get towards your best potential because you have not, don't have the experience and knowledge yet in order to, to get there, right? So that entire journey that I've been going through, like it has been like a lot of like ups, right? But in the beginning, also a lot of downs and even from being very up to completely down. But I understood that that is just, you know, my journey. And that is something that I would like to tell you is never ever compare your journey to someone that you'll see on the internet or to anyone out there because no one has the exact same path that they are going through. No one. Also not maybe your closest friend you're doing the exact same business with. You will always have different paths. Always. And that is something you have to accept. And with that also understand that what you see out there, that can become your reality for sure if you want to chase that. But that doesn't need to mean that you should already be there. Because in the beginning I thought... This kid is 16. I'm already 19. How can he become like more successful than me? I'm three years ahead of him. You know, I was so with that fixed mindset. That I thought, you know, how can he have that? And um, like, uh, I'm here. I'm doing all of that work, which was, of course, not effective at all. Um, you know, who is he to get that result? That's how I thought in the beginning. Until I realized that he's just way more experienced maybe in a field and way more knowledge that I need to still develop in order to get there. And that starts by the basics. He mastered the basics maybe, and I did not. I was focused on a lot of different stuff that won't make any change in the beginning. So that's why you need to never compare only yourself to yourself. That's how you should compete. Because you need to look in the mirror. You need to be very conscious of where you are right now. Because you can never get to point B if you don't understand that you're right now here at point A. You can never leave a city if you don't understand that you're actually in that city and then, you know, be willing to leave it, right? You'll never get out there if you don't understand where you are right now, where you stand right now. So with that being said, that's like um, basically the things that I've realized over the years that I just need to look at myself my own journey and my own shortcomings in order to get better because yeah i've seen a lot of like uh, downfalls during my road and that is completely fine from what i've realized now and i don't need to be the very best at everything at the very like very beginning it will be a journey that i need to learn specific things that people maybe who are younger than me already have you know gone through themselves maybe have already had that experience maybe not but that doesn't mean that if they had it that i need to have it as well it is just going to be more a thing of just focusing on yourself getting rid of the distraction of the shiny object syndrome that will just facilitate the journey for you because if you keep comparing then you will never be able to also enjoy the journey which is, I think, very important because you will never be enough and you will never feel lucky enough to think, okay, now it's good. From now on, I've received, I've, I've, I'm here. And in order to get there, I will just go through another journey. And But I'm happy where I'm right now, but I'm not satisfied, right? I'm not, you don't need to be, but you need to understand that everything that you have done already is also something that have basically been the thing that got you to where you are right now but if you're not willing to accept that 
then you will just facilitate the entire journey for yourself in order to see results. So yeah, um, the people you're like you're surrounding yourself with is just a super important part um, of this journey. And that will just help you um, grow faster, uh, understand their failures so you can prevent it. And that is not by locking yourself up in a room from the very beginning, working 25 hours a day, thinking that will make you successful because you will shut off like your circumstances or let's say the things that maybe could be of some, let's say, um, help for you in the beginning in order to see quicker results. And therefore you need to open up yourself to new people, to maybe also people you might need on your journey in order to, you know, just facilitate your own process by not, you know, having a 15 step morning routine, right? <laughs> to then get to work because you see so many people doing it on explaining it on YouTube that you need to have a morning routine with a 15, 16 step morning routine that lasts two to four hours to then start to work. No, if you want to see the results, you need to know what is the essential thing right now that I can do. And maybe a few things that you can do in the morning, right? That will help you get in there with more ease. But the actual action, the work that you do is by doing the work and not having a 16 step morning routine to then get to work midday, right? Those are simple things, but that's like I said, there are so many distractions with shiny objects and things. People tell you that you should do this or that, but the most important thing is you should focus on your own journey and learn from those, of course, who've already done where you are, but also always question the things that they are saying in a way of, do I understand what he is telling me? Is this going to help me or, or not, right? Because sometimes it could just be that it helped for them, but it just didn't, don't fit into what you want to achieve or how you want to like live your life or do specific things within the business. And it's always good to be conscious of, you know, questioning everything that you do. You just don't take it for, uh, like for what it is directly. And you just implement it stupidly without understanding what he or she is telling you. Because it could also be from, like completely, it could also completely off track you. And that's something I've seen as well on my journey. That's why I'm sharing it. That I've had coaches. And by the time I thought, you know, this is not going to help me at all. Because some coach told me you need to do this and that and that and that in order to see results. Right now, I have a coach who is super direct to me. He said, get to work, right? If you uh, want to see more results, if you want to get from uh, like 200k a month to like uh, this number per month, or whatever it might be from your fitness goal to to reach like to, to grow your chest or whatever it might be, right? Then you just need to do X, Y, Z in order to get, get A, B, C, right? And not the other way around because there might be a lot of things that will just basically detract you, like it will just slow you down. And that's something, like I said, you always need to keep your eyes open. Also, always need to understand what people are telling you. Always ask like why it is what they are saying so you understand it and can then see if you can apply it and just not taking it for what it is and just stupidly implement it and by time realizing oh this is something that actually didn't work for me because i had it as well so in the beginning it is just about testing everything that you do on your journey but more about committing as well and doing that with 100 percent by time you will see a lot of things that will come on your plate on your journey that will help you and will not help you. And then by time, you will find the perfect spot that you can grow from by first building the foundation and then going into the direction you want to build a like nicest building or whatever you're willing to build um, to get to where you want to be, right? So, um, and people telling you, I know when I would like to start, um, how do you get everything in? right? In terms of time. So I have a super qu simple question to that. That's basically a question that I got uh, this week. And that is if something is actually important enough to you, right? Then you will find time to do it. You will find one hour a day to actually 
do that thing that you want to do, that you can commit to. You can stand one hour, you can wake up one hour earlier. You will find time late at night if it's more if it's important to you and if it actually matters. And um, that's something that comes back to sacrifice again. If you're willing to sacrifice something for something else, if you're not willing to sacrifice your sleep maybe from the beginning in order to see success, lifetime success for you and also for your future family, then it's just not important enough to you. Then you prefer and prioritize sleep above the thing that you want. And how you can fit it in is by actually understanding your schedule by preparing it ahead, by forward thinking and backwards planning. So you're always aware and you can auto-regulate it by things that might come on your plate because everybody has his own, you know, life and things going on, right? So um, if you auto-regulate, you're always flexible to fit in things for maybe by replacing other things if it's needed to still do stuff that will help you grow. So you can then do the other thing that you actually have planned and be flexible to still have a successful outcome that day. And not to be completely off track because I had a schedule like this and one thing that comp get got in and my entire schedule was all over the place. That doesn't need to be like that if you can auto-regulate, if you can forward think and backwards plan, right? So that's basically the things that I always, um, you know, prioritize. And with that prioritizing the stuff that you actually want, having clear for yourself what it is important, what is important to you, what's not, and saying no to stuff. Saying no to things that won't help you. So, um, yeah, with that being said, this is basically what I wanted to share about uh, my beginning of my journey. And by time, if you commit 100%, there is no way, only if you don't focus on the right things, of course, to not see success in the thing that you're working on. And um, I think that's important to understand, but you need to understand what you're doing and where you're willing to work on is the right thing and if you can actually commit and focus on that one thing without getting distracted and um, with sacrificing things for other things, right? By committing 100% to that thing. So with that being said, there was just a small video. Um, I hope this helped. If it was helpful for you, make sure maybe you share it with someone you care about who could also see this message, which could helpful for helpful. Basically, we could also help them and... Um, yeah, with that being said, looking forward to see you maybe in a video later this week, maybe next week. Don't know when the next one will be, but let, definitely let me know if there are more questions about this and I can definitely elaborate on it. So um, have a nice day ahead and we see each other in the next video.